is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode. Friends, we're going to be talking about something that you can do with your photography today that is going to challenge you in probably different ways than you're used to or maybe some more than others. But first, you know, I have a, I have a favor to ask here. You see, obviously this is going to be relating to uh, a gift that you can pass on with your photography or you can do yourself. But the, a couple months ago, we started doing these holiday gift ideas with your photos. And it doesn't, I, we've definitely got a lot of very favorable feedback from you guys, but I need a name for this here. As I'm introducing it here, I'm, uh, I'm stumbling on my words because I can't think of a crafty enough name. Now we, half me thinks holiday gift ideas, but we have, for the last 14 years, we have our normal holiday or recommended gift ideas. And I don't categorize these as the same. I mean, the as I shared a couple months ago, these sort of gifts that we're going to be talking about here today and some of the other holiday uh, themed videos that we've been doing here uh, lately, these are, these transcend far beyond anything that you can buy on Amazon or, you know, Walmart, Target or wherever it may be. These these are leveraging your photos that you've taken. And so they're much more meaningful gifts to pass on to people, but I'm just not sure what to call it. So next year we're going to, you know, because of the success that we've, the feedback that we've seen come in from you folks, we're definitely going to continue on the trend next year, but I'd like to come up with a, a good name, holiday gift, your photo ideas. That's really chunky, but you get where I'm leaning with this. But anyways, leave a comment down below if you have a good title. Like we, each year we have the, uh, the, uh, the canvas print shootout. We have the metal print shootout. Next year I teased already. We're going to have the acrylic, or the acrylic, acrylic print uh, shootout. So what would you call this with all the, because it's not really just Obviously, we're going to be talking about puzzles here momentarily, but we have uh, just all sorts of things, just creative gift ideas utilizing your photos. And that's just that's just very wordy. So if you have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. But as I was starting to mention a moment ago, I love a good puzzle. Now, in fact, you might have noticed in a lot of my videos, I always have a Rubik's Cube lying around or it might be in my hands. So I always have access to one when the mood strikes me to give myself a bit of a mental challenge. Now, on that note, I also like traditional puzzles as well. Actually, my son and I really enjoy traditional puzzles. They're a fun activity to do with my son, and it gives me a chance to unplug from work and other noise in my life and get a quite a bit of enjoyable quiet afternoon with my kid and well actually big ones like this like at 2000 i can tell you right now it's much more than an afternoon so what could be better now in today's video i want to explore some of the benefits of working with puzzles and to do so i'm going to use some puzzles that i recently picked up from canvasprints.com as an example of some high quality fun puzzles and what they could do or what they should be rather. All right, friends, before we go diving into all the good stuff, look, we put videos like this together to, well, in this particular case, help inspire you, help pass on some ideas, some fun ideas to give some creative gifts around the holiday seasons. And of course, if you find some value with these videos, friend, you'd be doing us a big favor by crushing the heck out of that like button down below. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, uh, hey, it's that time. Pull up a seat in, let's go. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, I love puzzles. Now, I recently ordered a bunch of puzzles from canvasprints.com, and the one that you're gonna see me working on here is the fourth of the bunch. Now, I'm not a puzzle expert by any means, but I enjoy the challenge of putting a puzzle together. Now, the challenge of a puzzle is just part of the equation, though. Sure, working to fit all those pieces together helps you keep you mentally sharp and improve your problem-solving skills, but there are so many other benefits of working on puzzles that you might not realize. So for example, working on puzzles helps you improve your mental speed. So as you work on more and more puzzles, your ability to see connections between these pieces become more quickly. Moreover, puzzles help strengthen your neural connections in your brain, which also helps improve short-term memory. Now, short-term memory is necessary for recalling colors, shapes, and helps you create mental map of how the puzzle pieces fit together. Now, you'll also find that working on puzzles helps you improve your attention to detail. Now, a skill that is needed in all aspects 
of life. Now, let's be clear. I'm not saying that working on puzzles will turn you into a detail-oriented person, but it sure doesn't hurt to practice that skill. Now, relating to that is improvement in your visual spatial reasoning. Now, visual spatial reasoning is involved for seeing how puzzle pieces fit together to create a bigger picture. Again, developing this skill isn't just for getting better at puzzles. Visual spatial reasoning is needed for everything from reading a map to completing a task at work to packing clothes for a trip. In other words, it's a skill you use every day. And for many of us, we can stand to enhance those skills. So a puzzle is a great way to do just that. And puzzles also help to reduce stress and relax. Yes, I know puzzles can be frustrating at times, but they still allow you to unplug from the stress at work and in life. In fact, puzzles can be so relaxing, they can help our brains from a beta to an alpha state. Now think about this here. When you're hard at work, your brain is in beta mode, a wakeful state. But when you're relaxed, your brain is in alpha mode, which is a state it's in during certain peaks of sleeping and dreaming. In other words, puzzles are a great way to disconnect from all the worries in life and just slow down for a little while. Now, this idea of slowing down is yet another benefit of doing puzzles. So as you can see here, my son decided to join me in working on the puzzle instead of sitting on the couch with his eyes glued on his tablet. He made an effort to come over and join me for some father and son time. And I can share with you here, what I did was I sat down. I didn't say a word to him. I started working on the puzzle. His eyes picked up and he saw what I was doing. He turned off his tablet and came over. That's quality time. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm happy that Caleb really enjoys things like this, like putting a puzzle together. When I was a kid, you know, we didn't have tablets and you know, our, you know, the siblings and you know, my parents, we would sit down and we would play puzzles or put play puzzles, put puzzles together because it was fun. It, it draws people in. You're working together as a team. And what could be more important than spending quality time with loved ones. Now this time of year, it's hard not to think about the people that you love. For many of us, we simply don't get to spend as much time as we'd like with the special people in our lives. Yet a puzzle gives you the opportunity to spend some much needed quality family time. Besides, the benefits of puzzle work I previously discussed isn't just for adults. Now, when my son joins me to work on puzzles, he benefits from improved problem solving skills, visual spatial reasoning, and better memory as well. As a dad, heck, you know, friend, look, I really appreciate being able to spend time with my son. Sometimes we play sports, other times we go out camping, other times we chill out and watch a movie, and yet other times we work on puzzles as a way to spend some high quality time together. And there are many other benefits doing puzzles in addition to those that I've already mentioned. For example, working on a puzzle can help improve your mood. Now think about it. You're stressed out. You're frustrated after a long day at work. So you, you sit down and start working on a puzzle. As you become more relaxed, you're able to kind of let all that stress go. And at the same time, puzzle helps increase your brain's level of dopamine, which is a neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood. So each time you find a home for a, a puzzle piece, your brain releases a, a little bit more dopamine. And as dopamine increases, what happens? Yeah, you probably guess it. Your mood improves and you're encouraged to continue working on the puzzle. It's addicting. And really, there's something to be said about the benefits of collaboration when doing a puzzle as well. This is especially important for me and my son. So as he grows up, he needs to learn how to work well with others. And a puzzle is an ideal way to help him do that. Not only is he developing improved cognitive skills by working on a puzzle, but he's also learning social skills like teamwork and sharing which will benefit him for the rest of his life. Now, puzzles also have a positive impact on productivity. Now, we've all been there when work becomes a struggle and can't help but watch the clock ticking down, tick tock to the moment you pack up for the day. And that's not a very productive way to go about it, is it? Now, if you take a short break and work on a puzzle for a few minutes, you find that your ability to concentrate and be more productive afterwards is much improved. Now, remember, Working on puzzles helps alleviate stress and elevate mood. And when this happens, yeah, you find that you feel much more refreshed, 
energized and ready to tackle work once again. But not all benefits of puzzles have to do with improving our mental functionality or productivity. Puzzles also provide the benefit of being a perfect gift idea. And this is what I was kind of mentioning uh, earlier when I was talking about our history, Caleb's and I have history with puzzles. In particular, puzzles like the ones I've ordered from campsprints.com here are really special because you can have your favorite uh, photo printed on puzzles. Sure, now let's not get too far off track here. You can order a generic puzzle with a landscape photo or an abstract design that you something that you photographed. But why not enjoy, especially around the holidays, enjoy memory uh, of fun family outing or a special birthday with uh, while you work on putting a puzzle together. I'm telling you friends, give it, if you've not done this before, it was absolutely magical. For the last four weeks of tooling around with these, these four puzzles here, we basically made a goal of doing, putting one of these together each week. It was so much fun. Now these puzzles come in seven by 10, 13.5 by 10.5 sizes, and in portrait and landscape orientation. Now the smaller puzzle is 30 pieces, and the larger puzzle is 252 pieces. In either case, you can quickly finish the puzzle, especially if you have a little help from family and friends. Now, Canvas Prints also includes this nice custom tin as well, so you can keep track of all the pieces. Now, the tin also, in my opinion, I think adds a extra special touch to the puzzle and makes it a wonderful holiday gift idea. Now, I'm all about gifts that have a special purpose, and as I explained, a puzzle serves many purposes from a improving your mental function to helping improve your mood. And with the holidays right around the corner, it's a perfect time to log in to canvasprints.com you can design one of these things for yourself and it is a ton of fun. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can get the whole ball rolling for yourself. And now with the puzzle put together, let's shift gears and talk about our current giveaway. Friends, we have three excellent prizes up for the grab this month. We have a Vanguard Veo 265 travel tripod. We have a 16 by 20 canvas print from canvasprints.com and a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Now entering the giveaway is really easy. Step one, friend, you gotta like the video and you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So by all means, get watching some more of the videos and as you probably guessed it, leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways already, you're still eligible to win, but friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello, post some new photos, we would love to see it, and that is it. Now, for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck and one last thing before we go jumping out of here today. Now, if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so, and it's gonna give you access to thousands of related photography articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And friends, boy, this was if you understood as, as how important puzzles are or have been for my son, Caleb and I, since he was, boy, you know, and be, as I was getting ready to shoot this video, I just grabbed a few out of the closet. But I mean, here, you know, it's, you know, especially part with, with doing puzzles with Caleb. We go to the store, we get to pick puzzles out, and you can see, like, we either, you can tell which ones are, have been influenced by him. Uh, and, but, with these puzzles right here. So these, okay, these puzzles are fun. But what makes these, doing puzzles like this so much fun is we can build a puzzle around a particular memory. And that just, it just raises that, that meaningful moment, that quality time with my son or for anybody that you may be doing this with. But I've been wanting to do this video for a little while since these, these came in. Eh, actually, since I became aware that these things existed. So let me clarify. It's been, I've had these for three, no, geez, three, almost four weeks I've had these things and it's been a lot of fun. So Caleb and I have had a lot of quality time putting these together. So I'm excited to share this here with you, but it's at that time of the video where friend, I'm gonna be turning off the cameras because as much as I love chatting with you here, you have things to be doing, I have things to be doing, and I'm honored as it is that you've taken 
Uh, this video is hard to say what it's going to turn out to be, but either way, you've taken time out of your schedule and I've you've, you've allowed me to have your attention. I really appreciate that. That said, friend, look, I would appreciate uh, you doing all that YouTube stuff or I'm going to ask you to do all that YouTube stuff now. So please consider considering hitting the like button, subscribe button and hitting now for all notifications uh, down below. So that every time that we come out with a new video, just like the one that you just watched here, YouTube's going to notify you, let you know the new videos there, and I get to see you again. But friends, that is all I have here for you today. So I'm going to be shutting off the cameras. And so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.